Welcome back to the channel. We are headed to Chippewa Falls, the quick charge location at the quick trip there off of exit 79. Right now we're on Highway 29. Chippewa Falls was the fourth quick charge to open and it will also be the fourth one on this channel. So just made to be. It opened back in December on uh, the 12th of December last year. There are four 400 kilowatt SK Signet machines. Uh, the standard quick charge setup, both have CCS and NAX cables. And uh, as far as I know, and the data that I've been able to acquire, this is one of the busiest quick charge sites of the six locations that are currently open. And when I was there, there were only five open. So a little background data for you there. But anyway, let's get charging. So we are here, Chippewa Falls, and we're gonna plug in number one, and I'm gonna start it in the app. $0.45 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, same that we paid in West Salem when we were last there. And this thing seems to be going pretty quickly. Oh, and the light came on, so it's not quite dark, but uh, Canadian fires uh, have kind of darkened the skies a little early today. It is, uh, oh, sounds good. Let's see if uh, Equinox likes it or not. There we go. So we're at 27%. And uh, firing right up, 153, 154. This thing is firing 500 amps, 155, 310, 311 volts. So that's how we get to 150, folks. 155. All right, so the Equinox, she was a thirsty. So we are at full speed here, 155, 156, like I said, 29%. Uh, this is the, let's see, Mount Horeb, Menominee, West Salem, stopped in La Crosse, but it was, it's not open yet. And then this one, this is my fourth quick charge, um, and they're good stops. I backed in. And I did that for a specific reason. I wanted to be able to see how the cable would, if it was easier to route the cable um, when I backed in. And I think it was. So um, I know I've complained at other stations about the, the Nana cables um, being kind of borderline. I just have to learn how to park at these stations because that was super easy. So Nana cable, thumbs up. Uh, we're at a quick trip. Uh, truck stop, there's a hotel here, Festival Foods, there's a Taco Bell, Culver's. This thing is like a, an amenities gold mine, um, not to mention what you can get inside the quick trip. So amenities, thumbs up. Uh, expected speed, I, we're still, we're like 7% in, we pulled five and a half kilowatts and we're still over 150. So this thing is firing out speed, so expected speed thumbs up and um, minimal hassle. I don't think it gets more minimal or less minimal, more minimal, less minimal. I don't know. But anyway, minimal hassle, thumbs up. Um, if every quick trip had a quick charge station, uh, it would be amazing. So um, if you haven't been to one, go and check it out because these are great charging stops. So let's take a look around at the rest of uh, the location. 750 kVA transformer for these four stations. I don't know if you can hear me over this guy, but uh, he is screaming out power right now.
little corgi exploration. Nice little green, green space. Very close. So I can see the station here in my Uh, charging setup, but it's not, it says zero of, of eight connectors available. I'm the only one here. So that would be nice if uh, that developed into a, like a plug-in charge or whatever they want to call it. So it's telling me there are six minutes remaining to get my 9%. Charged 42 kilowatt hours already. Still pulling 94.8. 285 amps, 332 on the voltage. So a few more minutes and we'll be ready to go. I think the spider took down the max sign. I don't know how, but that's what I'm betting on. So the machine says 77%. The car inside shows 78%. Um, and it wants to charge up to 90 because that's what I have it set at. Weird. I had a countdown on the charger, uh, on, the, on the machine. So you can see it says 79% there. And it says 78% here. But the time remaining was one minute. And now it's gone up to 25. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure if the car finally told it, hey, I'm gonna go until 90% or, um, or what happened. But that is, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to stop it at 80 because I, uh, that'll give me enough charge to keep going. I don't charge a lot at night, but I mean, we've been here for 20 minutes now and uh, the, so the lights have been more important now, but I mean, this is a pretty well lit location. So if you are here at night, um, that's another reason to stop. It's, it's pretty bright and, and friendly and, and you know, not a, not a scary dark back alley. Well, the machine's now telling me 81%. Car, my app is showing 80. Car, we got all sorts of confusion. All sorts of confusion. But we're done, so I'm gonna hit stop on the app. We're just doing everything on the app today, aren't we? All right, swipe to stop. And Immediately, everything quiets down. 23.75 on the cost. Not too bad, 40, 45 cents is, is a satisfying amount to pay. So, we are all done, and I will see you at the next charge.